if not all, believe that there is indeed a fixed day on which the Lord God will execute His final judgment on men, and everything on earth will be totally destroyed. In anticipation of that fateful day, many individuals and so-called Christian professing churches made their predictions about the alleged exact date of the end of the world. And followers of such individuals and so-called religious groups, they were made to believe and look forward to the fulfillment of the prophesied date in the hope that they would be saved by the Savior so as to eternally dwell in the heavenly abode. Who are these individuals and religious groups that made their predictions about the alleged exact date of the end of the world? What are their alleged bases? And what really does the Bible say about the end of the world or the Day of Judgment? Join us and we will uncover the truth. The first known so-called apocalyptic Christian group is the Montanist movement founded by Montanists of Phrygia. The Montanists believed that the Day of Judgment would be about 156 AD. Hoping that the Lord Jesus Christ would come, they settled down in Anatolia in central Turkey, where they patiently waited for the coming of the Savior. The so-called Lotharingian Computists believed that they had successfully cracked the so-called Bible's Code. By interpreting some passages in the Holy Scriptures, they predicted March 25, 970 AD as the exact date of the end of the world. Pope Sylvester II, the first French Pope of the Catholic Church, is believed by many to have predicted a date for the world's end, January 1, 1000 AD. Michael de Nostradam, also known as Nostradamus, regarded by many as the best-known seer of all time. This 16th century French physician and astrologer is believed to have predicted July of 1999 to be the chosen date of the so-called Armageddon. Emmanuel Sivadan Borje a Swedish scientist and philosopher who claims to have a spiritual awakening through visions and dreams, whose insights and teachings became the foundation of the Church of the New Jerusalem or the Sivadan Borean Church. Sivadan Borea was reported to have predicted that doomsday would occur in 1757. Charles Wesley, one of the founders of the Methodist Church, Several articles were written about him, attesting that he thought that the world was going to end in 1794. Herbert W. Armstrong, founder of the Worldwide Church of God, became one of the most well-known preachers today for purportedly having predicted the exact year of rapture four times. The People's Temple, best known for the mass suicide in 1978 of more than 900 of its members in Jonestown, Guyana, had its own version of the end of the world. The founder and leader of the said cult, Jim Jones, stated that he had visions that a racial holocaust and a so-called nuclear Armageddon was to take place in 1967. Some assert that even as far back as 2800 BC, there were already predictions made by certain groups of people about the end of the world. One of the most famous and capitalized doomsday predictions is the one attributed to the Mayans of the ancient Mesoamerican civilizations. Several books and articles corroborate the hypothesis that the Mayans calculated that on December 21, 2012, the world would reach its expiration date. The said date is believed to mark the end of the 5,000-year cycle by the Mayan long count calendar. Mm -hmm. 
many have bought the idea. Many have taken advantage of the media hysteria. Several films have been produced depicting what would happen on the said date. Numerous books have been written delving deeper into the details. Websites have been created discussing the alleged impending doom. And not a few individuals have been totally convinced that that day would be the history's final day. So many predictions have been made and still counting about the alleged exact date of the end of the world or as many call it, Doomsday. But to no avail, these doomsayers who were so preoccupied with their visions, with their dreams, they all ended up in tragic failure, while their followers in unbearable frustration. So what really does the Bible say about the end of the world or the day of judgment? And what does it say on how this world will come to an end? While standing in the middle of the Areopagus, Apostle Paul called the attention of the Athenians that they should repent because God has fixed the day on which He will judge the earth. Because He has appointed the day on which He will judge the world in righteousness by the man whom He has ordained, He has given assurance of this to all. Now Enoch, the seventh from Adam, prophesied about these men also, saying, Behold, the Lord comes with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment on all, to convict all who are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have committed in an ungodly way, and of all the harsh things which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. Another apostle, this time Apostle Peter, described what will happen on the day of the Lord or on the day of judgment. But the heavens and the earth, which are now preserved by the same word, are reserved for fire until the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens will pass away with a great noise, and the elements will melt with fervent heat. Both the earth and the works that are in it will be burned up. The Bible made it clear that the earth and everything in it will be destroyed, not by means of another great flood, nor by the spread of a deadly virus as depicted in several films, but rather, by means of fire. The reason Apostle Peter likened the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ to the coming of a thief in the night is because no one knows its exact day and hour, only the Father in heaven. No one knows about that day or hour, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Despite the biblical truth that only the Father in heaven, the only true God, knows the exact day and hour of the day of judgment, 
many so-called religious groups have made every effort just to find out the exact day and hour. In fact, they have even made their so-called formula for calculating only to justify their basis for predicting the exact date of the end of the world. Which are these religious groups that probably still have following today despite the fact that they failed more than once in predicting the exact date of the end of the world? Stay with us and we will be right back.